Here's the latest news. Fires tonight gutted a supermarket and severely damaged a pharmacy in the inner Sydney suburb of Newtown. Police believe the fires were deliberately lit and at one stage thought a hotel was also ablaze. Although the hotel was evacuated, there was no fire. A woman died and two other people are in Nambour Hospital following a collision between a car and semi-trailer on the Bruce Highway at Forest Glen today. No names have yet been released. The biggest manhunt in the history of the Irish Republic is underway in County Roscommon after two policemen were shot dead following a $70,000 bank holdup. Anti-nuclear demonstrators have halted a train carrying radioactive waste in Gloucestershire, England. They erected a scaffolding tower on the line. Australians will soon be able to apply for international credit card facilities through the bank card system. And World Boxing Council heavyweight champion Larry Holmes stopped challenger Scott Ledoux in the seventh round of their title fight in Minneapolis today, equaling Joe Louis' record of seven straight championship wins. A fine though cloudy day has been forecast in Brisbane tomorrow, temperature range of 11 to 19 degrees. At the moment it's 15, that's one above normal. That's it for tonight. I hope you join Mike tomorrow night at 6. Now stand by for our coverage of the historic state of origin rugby league match between Queensland and New South Wales. Good night. Everybody dreams of getting rich, and a big gold strike would be the most glamorous way of all. There are now thousands of amateur prospectors heading for the hills every weekend. But a couple of Brisbane men have struck pay dirt with a scheme and techniques to help that dream come true. Their story, State Affair tomorrow night, 6.30, here on 7.